What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Healing Power Divine Universe. I am a messenger from the higher power, and I am here with God today with another important message that is to help heal the sicknesses from this world. I am never to shut up again. Um, God chose me to deliver these messages. I will start today by showing you all of the oracle and tarot cards I pulled for this reading, and then I'll move on to my channeled message. So let's get started here. If you do hear something move around, it's my dog, um, and plus my heater's on because it's 16 degrees where I live, so it's a little chilly this morning. Okay, anyways, let's get started. Take time to breathe out. Dying from STDs. Be assertive. Ancient forest. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Liars, liar, liar, pants on fire. Who is the fake Native American now? Wow, not me, you. And the CIA is here to say no way. And they said you are her and you lied. Hopkins Witch is bringing out the truth, and God is here too, and said, fuck you. By the way, you lie too much, so please shut up. First house self, physical body, outlook, self-image, life philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, entry point. This is a sign of Aries. The Hermit, sign of Virgo. The Hierophant, a cult leader, religious organization leader, people that are bound to pretty much the devil. This card always says it the best out of all the Hierophants that I have in each deck. Work through your fears, New Moon and Scorpio. Obsession, stalking, gang stalking, watching through cameras, social media, etc. Meditation brings answers. Walking in beauty. Moon, take note of intuitive messages, sign of cancer. Sacrificing children, especially to women and gay men. Watch your children. Stop devil worshiping everywhere as the devil is not your friend. By the way, you stink today. North Node Destiny. Soul School. Learning Curve. Fulfillment. Purpose. Maturing. Experience. Fruition. North Star. Process. Development. Practice. Path. Beckon, blossoming, becoming, integrity, and journey. It's a sign of all signs, zodiac signs. We have the hangman, sign of Virgo. Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, trying to guard against loss. A time for healing. Look out your front window as you are being watched. Proper authorities watching your every move. Thank you, God, today as they see the truth that was meant to be. XOXO. No need to worry. Peace pipe. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Fake ass friends and family can't seem to trust anyone. Square challenge creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, works out. Sign of Cancer and Aries. The Empress. 
woman that's been through tremendous battle to become the empress. And the last card is the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This card says a lot. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my channeled message now. A woman is being slowed down by God as she is working so hard to prove God's point and is making a huge impact to a man, especially who could be dying from AIDS too. He is a very assertive man that is a outdoors type that really enjoys to hike like this woman delivering these messages again. She set her standards high than higher than average person, excuse me, as she too has been in a toxic relationship that was nothing to him as he had a plan to rob her too straight from the beginning. He was not there to help her at all as he was too busy on a call with his wife whom was an Aries, making plans to kill her too along with her brother too who is a Virgo. These two men are involved in a cult out of Rollins, Wyoming too that involved a foster fake mother too who is a Scorpio who too became obsessed with winning this woman's men too and just could not see that she was so blessed and connected to the higher power that she would never be able to steal her beauty away, especially with her daughter the most and a wonderful man that is too involved now too, but in a good way to stop these cult members right away. The moon is a sign of a cancer woman who has risked her life by speaking out about this cult that is afraid to take the responsibility for sacrificing their own children. They too were destined to be on this horrible journey as in their past lives they were never to be stuck in this toxic world but again chose the easy road to fame and fortune only to be met with that devil again that is now here to collect their so-called souls that are tremendously broken they are too stupid to stop now as they can't seem to stop looking at this woman as being a narc too but what they are truly missing is those blinking lights that are watching their every fucking move as they continue to not worry about what they do and are so caught they are about to head to prison. This healer is trying to have a peaceful resolution even though they are not only sacrificing their children, they also are sacrificing their pets too. But their fake ass friends and family are so sick of them too and will never stop fighting for this to all stop, as they are sick of watching a cancer get blamed for the shit they do. And now you finally see this fucked up reality, as they too are an a empress too, according to that rotten ass Melissa H., who is nothing more than the town whore and is raping her baby not too. And God said, no way, by the way, as you are a devil worshiper too. You need to get the proper authorities here as they too are too fucked up too. So here we sit again with nothing but this fucked up wind that is making us as sick as it blows that rotten ass our way and we then want to puke like Mark did on her the night they left me home alone to fend for myself until the end. By the way, she is never to see Carly again according to Mike as he too puked on her too, as she is that rotten pussy bitch that is spreading STDs to say it is me again. She is a psychopath that will get it in the end as that death penalty was made for her the most, but then again, I better not gloat. Thank you guides the most again, as you always guide me to see what the fuck is going on now. I love you all the most and will for eternity. Peace and blessings.